श्रद्धा वंदे गुरु परंपरा श्रुति स्मृति प्राणीन आलय करुणाल नमा भगवत्द शंकर लोकशंकर शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बाजरायण सूत्र भाष्य प्रसवंदे भगवत पुनः पुनः ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मेति मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्योम व्याप्त देहाय दक्षिणाूर्त नम सहनाव सहनौ भुन सह वीर वह तेजस्वीनावधीतमस्तु मिद्विषा वह शांत शांत शांति धातुर्ब्रह्म संप्रोक्त जीव आख्यात प्रकृति धातुब्रह्मात्म नम नारायण परो व्यक्ता दंडम व्यक्त फोर्टीन चैप्टर लिटिल इजी कंपेयर टू दी डेफिनेटली कंपेयर टू दर्टीन चैप्टर एंड एज वी सो लास्ट टाइम इज भगवान भाष्यकर ऑल्सो It takes time to explain samasas and uh, things which have been words which have been used earlier. He just explains those as well. I think we finished Rajas, the eighth, uh, the seventh verse. Eighth, eighth verse in continuation talks about tamas. So tamas tvajnana jam vidhi mohanam sarvadehi nam pramadalasya nidravi. tannibadnati bharat so the next verse talks about tamas what is its effect tamah what exactly is tamas and how it works tamah to ajnana jam vidhi everything is born of ajnana but tamah specifically because tamah ajnana itself is called as tamas at times because it ha- is avaraka tamaha tu ajnarajam vidhi that is the first effect so mohanam sarvadehinam mohanam mohanam is moh karakam just a second please <coughs> just give me a moment <coughs> sorry um, something got stuck in it <coughs> some powder <coughs> some medication i had taken okay so tamah tu ajnarajam vidhi mohanam mohakarakam ityartha generally mohakaram sarvadehinam for everyone those who sarvadehinam so for all dehis all embodied and what is the effect how does it bind nibadnati हौ प्रमाद आलस्य निद्राभि तत् तत्तमः निबद्धनाति हे भारत सिंपल एंड वेयर जस्ट लाइक बिफोर नथिंग मस्ट टू डू देयर हे भारत तत्तमः प्रमाद आलस्य निद्राभि निबद्धनाति सो so, तमः to ajnanajam vidhi <coughs> this will be as it is you can say tamah to ajnanajam vidhi <coughs> because tom vidhi tom is the karta lot lakara madhya purusha ek vachana and what else sarvadehina mohanam so you can say ajnanajam and sarvadehinam mohanam vidhi you make a simpler run way that way and then t 
तत् तमहा प्रमाद आलस्य निद्रा भी निबद्धनाति इफ यू वांट टू टेक एन अनुरति यू कैन टेक देहिनम फ्रॉम हियर देहिनम निबद्धनाति तमहा व्हाट इज तमहा तृतीय गुण सत्वरजस अर्डन तमा इज थर्ड गुण अज्ञानजम मींस व्हाट अज्ञानात जातम बोर्न ऑफ अज्ञाना Born from ajnana, otherwise you have to be too literal. Then that is ajnana jam. With ji, may you know that mohanam is mohakaram, mohakarakam, <coughs> moham karoti thi mohakara. So that's an upopada tar tat purusha. Mohakaram vidhi causes delusion. How a viveka karam takes away your viveka capacity to take viveka. is possible only when the buddhi is active in the antakkarana if the manas mind is too clouded then what will happen buddhi does not get space bandwidth to act therefore viveka is not possible that is because tamaha is active you know we say you know i am feeling a little dull because tama is active <clears throat> sarva dehina sarva dehina vi sarvesham देहवताम देहिनाम इज मतु परतेनी देयरफॉर मतु प्रत्यंत इज देह देहवत सो देहवताम एंड प्रमाद प्रमाद इज नेग्लिजेंस आलस्य वी ऑलरेडी नो निद्रा आल्सो वी नो प्रमादश्च भगवान भाष्यकार इज गिविंग ऑल विग्रहस समास वी द प्रमादश्च आलस्य च निद्रा च ऑल पुट टुगेदर प्रमाद आलस्य निद्राह प्रमाद आलस्य निद्रा भी तत्म निबद्धनाति भारत नथिंग मच टू डू देर क्वेट ईजी हू वॉन्ट्स टू टेक दि नेक्स्ट वन आई कैन टेक सो पुनः गुणा व्यापार संक्षेप उच्यलोक सुखे भारत प्रमादे सुखे संजयति कर्मणि भारत तु तमह प्रमादे संजयति उत संचयति उत ओके सत्वम द डिस्टिंक द वर्ब इज एक्चुअली टू प्लेसेस संचयति एंड संचयति वन इज सत्या प्रथम पुरुषे बोध या सत्वम इज प्रथम वचन एक प्रथम वचन प्रथम वृति एक वचन सुखे इज सप्तमी एक वचन संजयति रजः इज अगेन प्रथम एक वचन कर्मणि इज अगेन सप्तमी एक वचन भारत इज संबोधन प्रथम देन ज्ञानम इज द्वितीय एक वचन एंड आवृत्य इज अव्यय टू इज आल्सो अव्यय तमः इज प्रथम वन वन प्रमादे सप्तमी एक वचन and utah i have taken it as uh, uh, this, uh, uta so taken it as anvaya is it is correct it is an obvious okay not so, anvaya yeah so it's like api api or eva abhi yeah, yeah it is abhi correct api api so you can you can keep satvam sukhe sanjayati or sukhe satvam sanjayati either way is fine so this yeah, order is fine he bharata you just have to pull out then yeah tamaha तमहा 
ज्ञानम आवृत्य प्रमादे संजयति उत सो यू उत कैन गो इन तमह उत और इधर वे स्वाइन आई हैव एडेड वन मैच आई जस्ट एडेड वन च इन आफ्टर सत्वम सुखे फॉर रजह च रजह कर्मणि संचयति नॉट नेसेसरी नॉट नीडेड टू इज देयर यू कैन ऐड आल्सो नॉट एन इशू ओके सो सत्वम सुखे संजयति नॉट मच देयर संजय संजयति संश्लेषयति it just you know binds you onto that or sanshlesha is contact it makes you come in contact you know but so therefore sanjayati is sanga causes sanga unto sukha so sukhe into sukha there is association generally we will say association if you say then you have to say with but here it is not generally association it's kind of binds unto binds into that kind of a meaning would be there that's why saptami okay just give me a moment again please sorry <clears throat> so I, i have a little cough due to some medication stuck so i'll be taking some pauses <clears throat> so sattvam sukhe sanjayati The sum up is what sattva binds you to sukha, and then rajaha binds one to karma, and jnana being covered by tamaha, what it does is it causes avaran on jnanam, and then thereby pramade. If one has jnana, then one will not have negligence. Pramada is negligence. So tamaha. makes you negligent by covering the jnana viveka buddhi takes away <coughs> thereby one is you know one makes mistakes sanjayati uta so uta is api so what is the uh, bhashya sattvam sukhe sanjayati sansleshati rajaha karmani he bharata sanjayati iti anuvartate so there is you have to bring the sanjayati word and join it in the next sentence also jnanam sattva krutam vivekam avrutya ज्ञानम आवृत्य मीनिंग व्हाट दिस ज्ञान इज सत्व कृतम व्हेन सत्व इज देयर देयर इज ज्ञान व्हेन तमा कम्स व्हाट इट डज इज ओवरशैडोज ज्ञान व्हिच इज कॉज्ड बाय सत्व व्हिच इज विवेक आवृत्य हैविंग कवर्ड मीनिंग आच्छाद्य वेल्ड टू तमा व्हाट इट डज स्वेन आवरणात्मना तमा इज ऑफ द नेचर ऑफ आवरण देयरफॉर इट कवर्स and then pramade sanjayati uta pramadah naam what is pramada pramado naam prapta kartavya akaranam negligence so whatever has to be done at a particular time kartavyata there is a kartavya karma one does not do it because of pramada because of tama so this is pramada is not not because of pramada pramada itself is prapta kartavya akarana so one is negligent of one's own duties when tamaha comes up next who wants to take this i can take this uktam uktam karyam kada kurvanti guna iti uchyate उत्तम कार्य कदा कुर्वती गुणा दिस गुणा हेट टू हेव अ पर्टिकुलर इफेक्ट वॉट इज दिस गुणा एंड वॉट इज वॉट इट डज ब्रीफली ऑल्सो एंड वी हेव सीन इनिशियल इन दी थ्री वर्स इज सेपरेटली एज वेल सो वेन डू दे डू दिस एक्टिविटी मीनिंग ईच गुणा वेन डज इट एक्ट कदा कुर्वती उत्तम कार्य वॉट एवर हेज बीन सेट दिस इज इफेक्ट वेन डज इट टेक प्लेस दैट इज मेन्शन वॉट डज इट से रजस्तमस्ूय सत्वती भारत रजस्तमस्तमस्तूय सत्वती भारत रज सत्तम तमह च एव तमह 
சத்தம் ரஜக ததா சோ if you will see what's what's happening first part is okay then you you have lot of anurutti to bring in so what does it say rajah tamah cha rajah tamah cha abibhuya so it would be start with the verb or verb equivalent abibhuya is the verb equivalent yeah, right? it's abhya yeah sravya yabanda so replacement for to to means it will take an object what will take abhi who are level ha are the objects hmm rajah yeah so the both will be two one rajah to yeah so these are dvitiya vibhakti ek vachana rajah and tamah cha abhi who are means overshadowing or overpowering sattva when is sattva so kada kada karyam kurvanti when does sattva do the karya சத்துவம் கதா காரியம் கரோதி சோ இஃப் யூ ஸ்பிளிட் ஈச் குணா யூ வில் இன்ஸ்டெட் ஆஃப் சேங் குர்வந்தி யூ வில் சே கதா சத்துவம் கதா காரியம் கரோதி யதா ரஜஹ அண்ட் தமஹ ஆர் ஓவர் ஷேடோ சோ when ரஜஹ அண்ட் தமஹ ஆர் ஓவர் ஷேடோ ஆர் ஓவர் பவர் சத்துவம் பவதி தென் சத்துவ சத்துவம் பவதி சத்துவம் பவதி மீன்ஸ் சத்துவம் கா சத்துவ கம்ஸ் அப் அண்ட் தென் தென் சத்துவ குணா தஸ்ய காரியம் karoti that is how that we have to so once you understood one part then the others are easy here we just add them up then rajah sat rajah sat we have to take it yeah, yeah. so rajah so here you have to add rajah satvam cha abhibhuya what tamah will be first key then tamah what tamah bhavati 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 eva then tamah satvam cha abhibhuya rajah bhavati tatha so that's how you make the anvaya simple once you understand the first part then that's how this this helps otherwise difficult to see satvam bhavati even in this part we cannot make out what is bhagwan krishna saying unless you see the sangati bhashya so rajah tamascha ubhavapi ubhavapi sin sandhi h o a y a sandhi has taken place ubhavapi abhibhuya satvam bhavati meaning what udbhavati with bhavati you are not able to understand bhavati means what is there exist what do you how do you explain so udbhavati is equal to udbhavati you add ut you will understand it comes up it rises meaning what vardhate once you added ut then ut you know tishta tishta stand there uttishta stand up so once ut is added it comes up that kind of meaning comes up. then you can say vardhate means grow strong that is the meaning of bhavati really sattvam bhavati means not that sattva is sattva is always there tamah is always there raja is also there but what is the proportion that is known by sattvam bhavati means sattvam vardhate how do you get that just by adding ut that's the beauty of an upasarga upasarga can enhance the meaning it can keep the meaning unchanged also it can reverse the meaning or it can do something else to completely unconnected so yada yada vardhati so yada has been added that's why kada has been given as a sangati kada bhavati then when this kind of a setup happens when sattva vardhate tada tada what happens labdhatmakam sattvam swakaryam which is that jnana sukhadi swakaryam jnana sukha ityadi dana all the dharma karyas take place only when sattva is more so sattvam is what tada labdhatmakam sattvam meaning that which you have gained sattva has been gained swakaryam karoti or labdhatmakam uh, yeah labdhatmakam sattvam would be that kind of a meaning when it has gained its presence then what will it do it will do its karya or you can say labdhatmakam swakaryam also sattvam labdhatmakam swakaryam karoti also is possible what is that karya swakarya jnana sukhadi swakaryam karoti means arabhate it begins its effect he bharata तथा रजोगुण 
सत्वम तमश्च एव रजोगुण सत्वम तमश्च एव उभा अपिभूय सो हियर ही हेज टेकन दी अदर वे राउंड इधर वे इज फाइन बट इन सीक्वेंस वी लेट्स कीप इट इन दैट मैनर रजा सत्वम तमश्च बिकॉज च इज हियर दैट्स वाई इट वुड बी बेटर टू शिफ्ट दी बिकॉज हैड दी च बीन हियर यू वुड हैव टेकन रजा सत्वम च सो भगवान भाषेकर टेक्स इट दैट बिकॉज च generally we will connect with the earlier two words here then you can take raja as raja over powering powering sattva and tama so in that case we'll change this to first and these are this as tatha because tatha will also go in that manner okay i missed that because i went with the earlier concept so tatha rajoguna sattvam tamascha eva ubhav api api bhuya vardate yada when rajoguna grows By overpowering the other two, what happens? Tada karma. What kind of karma is uh, Rajoguna effect? Krishyaadi, Krishya. So Bhagwan Bhaskara takes this. I mean, uh, any activity he specifically mentions Krishya because um, Rajas is predominant, becomes predominant there. Thereby, what happens here? Uh, see uh, why Krishyaadi, particularly if you look at it. this is a hint into varnashrama dharma also each person is born into a particular varna based on the balance of the gunas so if sattva is pradhana and rajas is secondary so primarily sattva secondary is rajas and third is tamas then a person is born as a brahmana if a person i mean jiva that particular jiva in prarabdha that particular prarabdha uh, in fructif what is fructifying these gunas are fructifying in these this order if the rajas is primary sattva is secondary and tamah is third then a person is born as kshatriya it is krishya that is mentioned this krishya is krishi krishya is krishi krishi farming is <coughs> is a vaishya dharma so when um, here of course this is has uh, you can take any karma any karma needs rajas but then specifically it has been mentioned because um, in vaishya dharma what happens why is one born as a vaishya when rajas is predominant primary sattva is not secondary otherwise one would be kshatriya tamas is predominant uh, and then there is sattva then a person becomes vaishya then if tamas is predominant rajas is secondary and sattva is last then a person becomes shudra that's the order this is what i recall I suddenly recall when he mentioned Krishyaadi. So, karyam arabate. Basically, even to get out of bed, one needs rajas to be primary. Otherwise, if sattva is primary, tamas is generally when one wakes up, tamas is predominant. Otherwise, one will never go to sleep. So, all these are changing. But throughout the day, what is more at the forefront? What is driving one's actions? that will depend on which is the predominant guna overall not momentarily momentarily they keep on changing that's why a person can go to sleep can you know can study something can do some activities whatever you know can even exercise go for a walk running all that needs rajas tamakhya guna whereas tama what it does tamas tama akhya guna so it is sakaranta that's why no sandhi has been done sandhi has been done not that sandhi has not been done i'm saying the dirga sandhi if somebody may think why dirga sandhi is not done dirga sandhi does not apply because sakaranta shabda it is not akaranta so sandhi has been done in uh, lagu prakriya this will be called as visarga lopa so tama akhya guna sattvam rajascha ubhav api abhibhuya tatha eva vardate yada when tamas grows above sattva and rajas what will happen it overpowers tatha vardhate yada tada jnana avarna 
it will cause jnana avarana jnana avarana adi swakaryam arabate it will make a person not be able to use viveka naturally a person is brilliant but then sometimes one becomes dull that is when tamas is active okay next one <clears throat> Does anyone to take it? Anyone interested, or should I go ahead and take? It? No, I can. I can try. Eleven. Verse number eleven. So, yada yo guna ha udbhuto bhavati tada tasya kim lingam iti uchchate kim lingam iti uchchate. So, yada yaha guna udbhuta bhavati. <coughs> How do you know which is predominant? Udhubhuta is when that rises. But since all three are there, it is predominant. That's the meaning there. Which guna is predominant at a particular time? How do you know? You know by indicator. Linga is an indicator. What is the indicator? That's why you know the uh, sukshma sharira is called as linga sharira, linga deha, because it's an indicator to atma. Sukshma sharira, the way. It is one can inquire into it and land on Atma. It becomes a linga. So what does it? What does the ling? Uh, the second linga. What does the linga for which guna being active when? Yeah. What is it? Sarvadvare shude hesmin prakasha upajayate jnanam yada tada vidyat vibhram satya vidyuta. So sarvadvare shude he asmin. Prakasha Upajayate. Yeah. Then Jnanam Yada. Uh, not non, yeah, Jnanam Yada Tada Vidyat Vivriddham Sattvam Iti Uta. Sattvam Iti Uta. Yeah, so the uh, verb is again uh, uh, Upajayate. So Upajayate 3 1. Then Sarvadvareshu is Saptavi Bahuvachana. Dehe is Saptami Ekvachana. Asmin is also Saptami Ekvachana. Prakashaha is Prathama Ekvachana. Upajayate. Then uh, Jnanam is again Prathama Ekvachana. Hmm. Then Yada is Anvaya. Asari Avyaya. Tada is Avyaya. Vidyat. Vidyat is again actually. Uh, uh, it is uh, third, yeah, Prathama Ekvachana. Asherling it is actually. It's not Asherling, it's uh, Vidhiling. Okay, Vidhiling. Yeah, Vidhiling can. And then Vivriddham is uh, Dutiya Ekvachana. Sattvam is Prathama Ekvachana. Iti is av Avyaya and Uta is Avyaya. Satram Vivridham Viti and so Satram will also be Dvitiya. Yeah, Dvitiya. Satram also will get good with Dvitiya, correct. Viti Vare Asmin Dehe. Asmin Dehe. So all are both are Saptami, but then in the Deha there is Sarvat Dwaras. All Dwaras are in the Dehas. Dwaras are Indriyas. Indriya basically Golakas and Golakas are Lingas for Indriyas. So Palakshana uh, you have to understand by indirection there. Lakshana you have to do. <coughs> Prakasha Upajayate Tasmin Yada. So Yada. So Yada has to be taken earlier. Yada Asmin Dehe in this body. Dehe. What happens? Sarvadwaras are there. Sarvadwari to Prakasha. Yeah, Prakasha. Upajayate. Prakasha is Jnana. Upajayate means Kasha. not the Prakasha. Jnanam Upajayate. Sada. Sada. So, Yada. So, Jnanam, uh, if you say Jnanam Prakash Upajayate. Prakashaha. Jnanam Upajayate. No, Prakash and Jnana will not go together. Okay. So, then you have to say um, uh, vidya, Vridham, Sattam, Iti, Sattam. Vidya, um, Sattam, Vridham, Bhavati. Bhavati I have added. So it is very nice. Bhagavan Bhashyakara adds add here. Tadeva Jnanam. <laughs> she makes another sentence. You know? Otherwise, it's very difficult to put uh, Jnanam. 
Jnanam with Sattum, you cannot put it in Samanadhikaranam. Jnanam cannot be put together in Prakasha, Prakasha. as you know, in the same sentence. Prakasha Upajayate or Jnanam Upajayate. So Prakasha Rupa Jnanam Upajayate is possible, but then uh, Prakasha is Pullinga, Jnanam is neuter. Yeah, and Prakasha, although Jnana is basically Prakasha itself, but then this Jnana Prakasha it isn't. What is being said is that what is jnana is defined first and that jnana when jnana comes up then sattva can be understood as being predominant so when does jnana come about whenever there is prakasha in indriya prakasha through indriyas if you cognize something then that is jnana because it is cognitive knowledge and that knowledge when it comes up one should understand as sattva is active so that's how the anvaya is so tada instead Tadeva. Uh, so here Bhagwan Bhashikara adds Tadeva Jnanam. Yeah. Jnanam Bhavati. Tadeva Jnanam Bhavati. That is, itself is called as Jnanam. Bhavati, any you don't need to bracket, you can put any time anywhere. So Tadeva Jnanam. Tadeva has been added. Tadeva Jnanam. That itself is called as Jnana. And then Tada, what happens? Tada. Sattvam Vivruddham Vidyat or Vivruddham Sattvam Vidyat as it is. One should know that Sattva is Sattvam Vivruddham means Sattvam Udhutam Vidyat. Know that Sattva has come up. So Sarvadwara is what is Sarvadwara here? Atmanaha Upalabdhi Dwarani or Sarvadwarani. What are these Upalabdi Dwarani? How do you know Atma? Everything that you is there is just Atma. Nothing other than Atma really exists. So if you recall the Kena Upanishad mantra, then this falls in place completely. Atmana Upalabdi Dwarani. How Atmana Upalabdi Dwarani? Through sense organs, you see Vishayas. But then, but then in each and every cognition, I is always there. You have I. Without I, you cannot have a Vishaya. Subject-object division may be there, but without the subject being present, you cannot have an object. So, Dhrikdrishya Viveka, if you do, or whenever Jnana takes place, Vritti Rupa Jnana, in that Vritti, Aham is also sitting there. That Aham, if you inquire into giving up the Vishaya, then you have landed on Atma. Because Aham, without Aham, there is no Satta to the Vishaya. You hold on to Aham, the Vishaya, Mithyatum is clear because Satta has been borrowed from you who is acting like a subject. Therefore, Pratibodha Vizitam Matam, that is the Kena Upanishad mantra. Always good to remember in such kind of scenarios. Shrotra Adini, when one hears, hearing, etc., hearing, tasting in each and every cognition, you know the taste, you see the thing, so you know the thing. Ghatapatadi, you know the sound. You know the smell, you know the when you feel the touch, you know the touch. So there is a cognition of everything, there is knowledge about it. It's jnana rupa, tadeva jnana, that's why. Whenever any cognition perception takes place through indriyas, that is jnana. And jnana really in Siddhanta is what? Chaitanya meva jnana. Chid rupa is jnana. There is nothing other than there is nothing called as jnana separate from chit. Chit itself. When a particular avarna over chit is taken away, then you know that particular vishaya. All vishayas are manifestations of the same chaitanya, really. Therefore, ghata jnana, when ghata jnana is taken away by ghata jnana, then what ghata jnana does is it takes away the ghata ajnana, which is tula jnana, which is just one part of ajnana, which uncovers just a part of Chaitanya. Really, all that is Chaitanya. Jnana is nothing but Chaitanya. So, Jnanam, Tadeva Jnanam. Tada Sattvam Vivruddham Vidyat. Uh, not Vidyati, Vidyat. Sorry. Vidya Uta. So, Vidyat Uta is there. Okay. So, Uta can be Tada Sattvam Vivruddham Uta Vidyat. So, Tadeva Jnanam and 
what is it teshu sarva shrotrajni sarvani karanani those all these indriyas which are karanas for jnana means to knowledge teshu sarvadwareshu in each of these indriyas golakas where the indriyas reside in those indriyas in those means to knowledge which are those antakaranasya buddhehe vrittihi prakashah dehe asmin upajayate okay so let's change the anvaya here see dehe asmin i took it as adhikarana bhagwan bhashyakara is taking it as adhikarana not for golakas but for prakasha so just shift that yada sarvadwareshu sarvadwareshu um dehasmin upajayate now this is okay prakasha sarvad उटसाइडे when there is a cognition taking place antakarana travels out antakarana vritti roop antakarana travels out and then the vritti within and outside it is the same antakarana completely joined together by a single uh, vritti taking place thereby prakasha deha asmi roop jayate where is a prakasha i don't feel that i am outside knowledge is taking place outside i know that the knowledge is taking place inside therefore अस्मिन देहे प्रकाश उपजाये थे दैट्स हाउ भगवान भाष्यकर इज एक्सप्लेनिंग दैट इज कॉल्ड एज ज्ञान ज्ञान इज नॉट आउटसाइड ज्ञान टेक्स प्लेस विद इन देयरफॉर तदेव ज्ञान ऑल्दो दी घटा इज आउटसाइड घटा वृत्ति हैज टेकन प्लेस आउटसाइड आ दी घटा घटाकार वृत्ति हैज टेकन प्लेस इन द अंतकरण बट आफ्टर ट्रैवलिंग आउटसाइड देयर बाय ज्ञान which is taking place which makes the chaitanya within and outside to become one by taking away the avarna then when phala vyapti takes place that is inside thereby prakasha dehe asmin upajayate tadeva jnana that is called jnana yada evam prakasha what is that prakasha then he says tadeva jnana he has said why because prakasha jnana akhya that prakasha is what phala vyapti is jnana So, jnana akhya upajayate tada jnana prakashina lingena through the jnana prakasha linga what indicator as an indicator one should know what should one know vivruddham udbhutam vidyat sattvam vivruddham is udbhutam what has come up sattva has come up iti uta uta is api iti vidyat next Yeah, I can take this. Raja ha udbu tasya idam chinham. Um, raja sa, raja sa, man raja ha, raja sa ha, raja sa ha. So of the of rajas, udbu tasya rajas, the rajas which has become predominant. What is the chinna? What is the indicator? Chinna is another word for linga. What is it? Loba prakriti raramba. जायसी भरतर्षि बहुवचन राजसी इज सप्तमी एक वचना विवृदे इज आल्सो सप्तमी एक वचना 
giant there is the verb so this what's the meaning of that the equals uh bahuvachana what is this etani will be uh, prathama vibhakti uh, bahuvachana you can add iti and say lobha pravrutti arambha karmanam uh, all karmanam arambha so lobha pravrutti karmanam arambha ashamaha spruha all is what etani iti etani rajasi uh, vivruddhe rajasi vivruddhe means what what kind of saptami would this be sati saptam so rajasi vivruddhe sati jayante etani jayante these are the results so what do we say when rajas comes up this is born meaning what this is an indicator now these become lingas if lobha is there yes i have lobha then there is rajas rajasi vivruddhe eva lobha jayante uh, etani jayate singular if you say lobha jayate kada jayate rajasi vivruddhe sati eva jayate lobha so if i have lobha then i know that rajas has come up. otherwise it's not possible therefore lobha is a linga or a chinna for knowing that rajas is predominant now similarly pravrutti i feel like doing something karmana marambha if there is a you know pravrutti towards something that okay planning activity then rajas has come up then when i start acting really karmana marambha is possible only when rajas comes up ashamaha ashama is lack of shama shama goes away there is no control left you know you say that okay shamaha i'll uh, withdraw my sensor you cannot withdraw your sensor when rajas is active it will cause pravrutti and make a person act so uh, simple and way i'll not uh, add it here so lobaha what is lobaha now bhagwan bhaskar explains lobaha okay lobaha is paradravya paradravya aditsa parayat paradravya aditsa means what it's sananta paradravya paradravya we know it is does not belong to me loba is greed what does greed mean it belongs to someone else i want it so adatum uh, datum datum ichcha would be this this adatum datum is to give this is loba is not giving to take therefore adatum ichcha is aditsa what is that paradravya paradravya paradravyani neuter so paradravyani adatum ichcha is paradravya aditsa what is pravrutti hi pravartanam ludanta for tinanta bhave vipatti pravrutti hi samanya chesta meaning anything generally you know you feel like doing something that is pravrutti nothing specific there so when rajas comes up need not be specifically krishi samanya chesta whether it is brahmana karma you want to do yajna that is also although it is you know dharma karya still it is it is only possible when there is rajas if one is sleepy or one is meditative both sides meditative in the sattva is active and then you are you know you suddenly get into nididhyasana mode manana shravana manana nididhyasana mode on one side when sattva is active then you don't feel like doing karma that's why sanyasa people take to say because you can't be doing karma you start you, you, there is nitya karma to be done a dharmika person cannot you know keep on doing shravana man nidhyasana and say okay my uh, nitya karma is suffering so oh, let it suffer then you might as well take sanyasa on the other hand a lazy person will be sleeping oh, i have to get up early morning and i have to do sandhya all this not needed so tamas is active both for tamasic person as well as sattvic person karma may suffer karma may suffer on both sides and both may look similar a meditative person may look sleepy to a to an untrained eye may unknown so tamasic person and sattvic person swami used to say that tamasic and sattvic person to a uh, to an untrained person may appear similar that's why it's difficult to make out for a laukika it is very difficult to make out even for a spiritual also you can't make out who is a jnani who is not because jnani may not be doing karma 
and if you don't see any karma then how do you know whether he is a lazy person or he is a jnani so sattva as well as tamas may look similar but it is not they are poles apart what happens is karma suffers that's why rajas is needed for even samanya cheshta just like tamas is needed even for nitra everyone has to have it so samanya cheshta even to get out of from the bed there is some rajas needed arambha what arambha kasya arambha karmanam so kasya is a general question you know you don't know whether it is singular or plural but the answer happens to be plural if you know it beforehand you can even ask you know kesham arambha but kasya is a general question in singular you know generally we say what what you know kim so kim is all you don't generally ask you know kani kani kim similarly kasya is singular ashama what is ashama anupashama ha upashama is not there shama is added upa there a is nanj not shama means not having shama means anupashama ha upashama is not there is adding another upa there harshaadi raag pravrutti hi harshaadi raag pravrutti then all what does this anupashama means anupashama you don't have control over okay i want harsha there is elation you know you don't have control over elation the mind control is lost that's what is meant by ashama or anupashama raga is there dvesha is there thereby there will be pravritti based on that that is karma naam arambha so this is samanya cheshta called as pravritti then vishesha cheshta is this particular harsha raga adi pravritti spruha is craving and what is that craving for sarva samanya vastu vishaya trishna that's a craving what sarva samanya vastu vishaya not general in terms of general cheshta but it is desire towards what everything general i mean what you have been generally doing that's the idea of spruha rajasi gune vivruddhe etani lingani jayante he bharatarshabha only when rajas guna comes up therefore etani lingani jayante etani jayante but lingani na jayante etani jayante lingani bhavanti we since they come up they can be indicators to know that rajas is active next may i try yeah sure yeah aprakasho pravrittischa प्रमादो मोह ये तमस्येता जायते विवृद्धे कुरु नंदन अप्रकाश अप्रवृत्ति चमाद मोह तमसी एता जायते विवृद्धे कुरु नंदन इट्स वेरी सिमिलर टू द प्रीवियस वन एक्चुअली विवृद्धे सती जायते जायते हे गुरुनंदन संबोधन एडिशनली देयर अप्रकाश व्हाट इज अप्रकाश अविवेक अर्लियर यू सेन प्रकाश रूप ज्ञान देयरफॉर विवेक रूप ज्ञान इज नॉट देयर व्हेन यू से अप्रकाश अविवेक अत्यंतम अप्रवृत्तिश्च अर्लियर प्रवृत्ति रजस इज नीड फॉर प्रवृत्ति and for that tamas has to be overpowered otherwise when tamas is active there will be apravruti one will be lazy doesn't want to get off the bed also and what is apravruti pravrutti abhava so abhavru abhavarthe nyanj apravruti so here we should not inquire okay is it virodharthe or what kind of so it is abhava generally abhava tat karyam 
pramada ha moha eva we have seen earlier also pramada is its karya moha is its karya so what has been explained earlier before the summary those are in other words or with a few additional details they have been listed here and they themselves become indicator so karya becomes an indicator for karana which is guna so guna is udbhuta predominant you know why it's karya that's all it is so pramada moha we have seen earlier also evacha aviveka also we have seen earlier aviveka is moodata ityartha so dullness tamasi gune vivruddhe sati etani lingani jayante he kurunandara nothing much there this chapter is comparative you know shloka wise it's very easy just a few you know few intricacies here and there okay i'll take this unless someone should take this i can take okay marana dware naapi yat phalam prapyate tadapi sang raga hetukam sarvam gauna meva iti darshayam aha we will try this because the shlokas are very easy what is the bhashya saying marana dware na api yat phalam prapyate tadapi sarvagi gauna eva iti darshayan aha so marana dware na api yat phalam prapyate whatever phala uh, you get through marana marana dware ne through marana tadapi sanga raga hetukam sarvam gaunam gaunam is was gaunam can be secondary also or based on guna is also gauna so here it looks like based on guna all that is based on sanga raga hetukam all that is based on gunas itself which is sanga based on sanga and raga so even what happens after marana marana dwarakam so marana dwarakam is what dwara through the gateway of death and what is that through the uh, whatever happens through death also meaning going to other body that's what it it means so all that all that is based on what raga sanga and raga so attachment sanga being there and raga being there that is what happens right when at the last moment one carries all the you know the baggage which has led to asanas so there will be based on guna everything takes place whatever is happening is based on gunas itself that's why guna guneshu vartante there there the the gunas are the satvarajas tamas gunas also and the other gunas also where guna and the are based in the pancha mahabhutas and those and their karyas so there is some connection there and then the entire life is based on gunas even marana dwarena yat phalam prapyate that is also based on guna so gaunam is based on guna eva iti darshayan darshayan is nijanta showing this idea nijanta nijanta and satranta the, if you ask what is the uh, this is a kridanta shabda what is the pratyaya there is shatra pratyaya shatra pratyaya in pullinga so darshayan aha krishna showing that so darshayan krishna aha krishna who is showing that and how what is the dhatu for shatru here it is not drish dhatu it is what is the dhatu there drish plus nich so it is not drish there it is darsh the darshi darshi is the dhatu there therefore darshayan darshi plus shatru will become darshayan darshayat is the pratipadika and then in pullinga darshayan yeah what does it say yeah यदा सत्वे प्रवृद्धे तो प्रलयम याति देह ब्रत तदा तदोत 
ಪ್ರಲಯಾತಿ so that is how the anvaya should be yada we can say satve we can say satve pravruddhe sati pravruddhe sati sri sati saptami satve pravruddhe tu yada deha brut who is it deha brut brut this is upapada tatpurusha yeah. ಭ್ರೂ ಭರಣೆ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಸೊ ದೇಹ ಭರತಿ ದೇಹ ಭೃತ್ ಸೊ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಹೋಲ್ಡ್ಸ್ ದಿ ಬಾಡಿ ಬೇಸಿಕಲಿ ನರಿಷಸ್ ಕೆನ್ ಬಿ ದಿ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಎಲ್ಸ್ ವೇರ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಭರಣೆ ಸೊ ಹಿ ಆಧಾರ ಸೊ ಹಿ ಇಸ್ ಹೋಲ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಬಾಡಿ ಬೇಸಿಕಲಿ ದೇಹಿ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಐಡಿಯಾ ದೇಹಿ ಯದಾ ದೇಹಿ ಪ್ರಲಯ ಯಾತಿ ದೇಹಿ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಡಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಡೈ ಬಟ್ that's how you'll say jeeva has passed on so pralayati so this anvaya has to be understood satve pravrutte only when satva is predominant and a person dies that's the meaning then what will happen tada tada saha that person what happens tada saha we can supply sir because you want to make sure that it's the same person deha brut tada saha deha brut what happens uttama ಷಷ್ಟಿ ಬಹುವಚನ ಸೊ ದಿ ಲೋಕ ಸೊ ಲೋಕ ಆಫ್ so when you chant it it will be uttam vidan loka anuswara will be pronounced as the nasalized lakara so tada tado uttama vidan lokan amalan pratipadyate so tada amalan amalan uttama vidan lokan pratipadyate padyate pratipadyate is attains that time this person attains what okay he attains lokas which are amalan amalan lokan but whose lokas are this uttama vidan uttama vidam uttama vit is the pratipadika what is uttama vit uttama vit is uttamam vidanti those who know with is not in the sense of see vidya with is with means jnana generally without jnani but that jnana can be upasana also therefore because lokas have been said a person attains a loka it can or cannot be jnani loka so what has the meaning of the vidha to there with is jnani those who have done who those who have uttama jnana and uttama jnana means those who have uttama upasana those who are done uttama upasanas their lokas whichever it is upasana phala is a loka prapti therefore those particular lokas which are those they are sattva lokas therefore amalan so when sattva is predominant and one passes when passes means one passes on with the sukshma sharira goes to another loka which loka what does one attain one attains is this kind of lokas why because sattva is pradhana 
Why is Sattva Pradhana at the point of death? Because this person himself has done a lot of Upasana. Otherwise, Sattva cannot be Pradhana at the time of death. Sattva is Pradhana only when the mind is trained enough. Otherwise, if one is aging and dying, then the mind is weak. Very rarely does one recognize any anyone around, let alone in old age. You know that's why you know we ask you know does he does he does the person eat? You know does a person get up from the bed? Is he able to recognize others? You no, know, he knows some people around. Or does he know his own family at least? Why? Because mind is weakening. Sense organs are weakened. You no, know, he can't see. If he can see clearly, then he knows. Does not hear well, so all the indriyas are weakened. Mind is also weakened. Where is the scope of doing upasana then? So it is an upasana phala if one has sattva pradhanim there. Otherwise, one keeps on going to sleep, just like a child. You know, the child when the child is born sleeps a lot, then becomes so active does not let the parents sleep, and then further grows and then. Then there is a balance here and there, slowly deteriorates and goes back to child mode in old age also. Sleeps a lot, wakes up little, and is quite weak also. Therefore, the mind is also weak. Very difficult. One has to train oneself throughout the life so that sattva is pradhana towards the end of the life also on the deathbed. Of course, I mean if one a person dies young. Then anyway, one does not expect to die unless one has diseases. There also, you know, sattva is very difficult to hold on to as pradhana. And accidental death anyway, very difficult. Uh, whatever one you know is doing at that point of time, it's uh, there is not even time to uh, recall and set the moment for the next life. One cannot even think straight. Otherwise, you know, one has to have that bhagya to know when one is dying, like the Bhagavata Katha. And it is so like Parikshit to be like that. One knows that I am going to die. Then one spends time in all kind of sattva activities. That's why they do bhajana and all that. When a person, especially a sattvika person, is uh, on the deathbed, they do bhajana. All you know, Vishnu, all sorts of uh, things go ar around there. So that whenever he comes to his senses, he recalls all that, and his mind is tuned towards a good gati. That is the idea of doing all that. It is not necessarily to you know save the person. Person has to be let gone. If he is he is not able to survive, one should not torture by keeping that person in the body. So you let him go. But then we pray for his good gati and have a setup such that which may facilitate and trigger his memory. You know if it are all it comes up then it should trigger the person to get good gati so yada satve pravrte udbhute pravrte udbhute tu pralayam maran mar, pralayam is maranam yati one attains pratipadyate then what will happen deha bhut deha bhut is atma atma is jivatma tada uttam vidam what is that mahad adi tattva vidam those who know mahat tattva ityadi that is the upasaka also possible ityetat lokan what kind of lokan amalan amalan is mala rahitan pratipadyate means prapnoti ityetat one attains that nothing much there we'll stop here we'll continue in the next part ha with 15th narayana parovyakta dandam obyakta sambhava mandasya antastumi loka sapta dvipa chimedini assuming no questions are there any questions I'll see you in the next part. Namaste. 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 Namaste.